right, and right now you got the New England Patriots up there, and they've, they've taken Stevan Redley, the running back from LSU. They also have another pick. And the Patriots were one of the teams that brought in Ryan Mallett of Arkansas for a visit. And as Todd McShay mentioned earlier, this is, if you're talking value right now, the top-rated player in this draft. Listen, Tom Brady was a six-round pick. Ryan Mallett was supposed to go first or second round. It wouldn't be unlike Bill Belichick. It's done. It's grab. done. The New England Patriots are going to take Ryan Mallett. And in fact, I had one scout tell me this week that the Patriots had Ryan Mallett rated as the top quarterback on their board. And at this point in the draft, with the value that Ryan Mallett presented, the Patriots obviously felt like they couldn't pass him up. And so Ryan Mallett, after a long wait, a Jimmy Clausen-like wait, will wind up going to the New England Patriots as the backup and perhaps the potential heir to Tom Brady. And, and here's the thing about Ryan Mallett. You know, Bill Belichick, listen, you can say what you want about Ryan Mallett. Anybody that he would tell you, he has a high football IQ. Football is important to him. Whatever the off-field stuff is, uh, obviously it has allowed him to drop here. But he does fit them all. And he's a big, big-armed quarterback. So certainly they have Ryan Mallett as, in, in their fold. When, well, I guess we're waiting for the announcement, announcement right, Boom? Well, Mort, you're up there on the perch. You can, you can hear it all. So that... This would be, if we discussed him going, look, there's no pressure on him to play. Duh. They've drafted quarterbacks before. O'Connell, right, was in the third round a few years ago. Brian Hoare, they kind of like, unsigned, right, a free agent. So if you're going to go to a place to learn and learn from the best, this would be a good place to land, coach. Well, there's a lot going on. When you have a lot of picks, you can afford to do things right. like this. That's number right. one. But... When you watch Mallett's workout, that's why he's here right now in the draft. A 5'3", and a 24-inch vertical. We'll make it official, and then we'll keep going. With the 74th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Ryan Mallett, quarterback, Arkansas. My point is, the measurables bothered some people. Not a real escape artist. Not an explosive athlete, but a guy that can really throw it. And Mel, you brought the point up. Tom Brady had a 24-inch vertical and ran 5-2. So what you have is a guy that has to operate in the pocket. And if Mallett learns to do that at a level close to Tom Brady, he will be able to utilize his God-given talent, which most of lies in his right arm. Because this guy can hum it, man. He threw for 7,500 yards in the last two years, over 60 touchdowns. What I like about this guy the most is where he comes from. Bob Petrino coaches his quarterbacks hard. I used to kind of take pride in that topic, Jay. He <laughs> yells at them. He's tough on them. He gives them audibles and check with me. I've seen him underneath the center in the shotgun. For this kid to have the opportunity to play for Bill Belichick and watch Tom Brady on a daily basis, it's the best thing that ever happened to Ryan Mallett. I don't care if he's the first pick in a draft. I'd rather be in the position he's in right now. Agreed. Good for him. We've talked about him all year. Ryan Mallett in that pocket. He maneuvers fairly well for a kid in size. He gets out of the pocket, sloppy mechanics. I think he's a long strider. He needs protection. Some of his best throws were with maximum protection a lot of time in that pocket. The meltdowns at the end of games, those throws, I always say it. It's that, what was he thinking? What was that throw? And Bobby Petrino will be over there saying, what was that, Ryan? And that's something you got to eliminate. But he's going to have time to evolve. Watch Tom Brady, the great manipulator of the pocket with that 5-2-4-40. Here's a kid with a 5-3-40, 24 vertical for both of them. Similar characteristics coming in, Todd. On the field, the biggest weakness that I saw was the fact that when teams could pressure him, especially up the middle, and force him to move his feet and reset his feet, that's when he got into trouble. And I think if, if he's going to be great in the NFL, he's got to learn to deal with pressure, to pick things up quick, and to understand the game better than most because he doesn't have the foot quickness to get out of the way and he doesn't have to reset his feet. Tom Brady is going to be a great help here, and that organization should be a great help. If he can't succeed here, Ryan Mallett will not succeed anywhere in the NFL. Yeah, you know, the only thing I, I think that Mallett has been knocked for is his inability to knock out the big teams. They had Alabama on the ropes, and he forces an interception at the end of the first half. Then with a four-point lead, late down the middle, misses a throw, another interception. And then in a two-minute drill, he's trying to throw the ball away. Just some better decisions in key situations in big games. 
He's had some poor decisions with interceptions, and a lot of these, I tell you what, are blown out of proportion because this guy can throw it. I'd love to take this guy on right here. He's a good kid. I spent a couple days with him, and when you see him throw the ball live, you can see why New England made this pick. It's impressive. Well, he's off the radar. Tom Brady, this is his team. Oh, yeah. Ryan Mouth's not going to be heard from for a while. He'll be in the preseason games. you got Brian Hoyer. It's a great situation. This is the old days. This is the way you should develop a quarterback. Point, Green Bay did it with Aaron Rodgers. Was Brett Favre was there. It was year four before Aaron Rodgers started the game in the National Football League. Ryan Mouth's going to be in a similar scenario. This is back. This is old school. This is 60s, 70s, and 80s quarterback development. Well, Coach Belichick will respect that. He's old school. Go learn from the best. Go learn from the MVP. So Mallet has landed. We're in the middle of this third round. Here on ESPN 2 at Radio City Music Hall. We'll be back. Yeah. Easy. Bro, bro, bro.